A quote from Brian Cox, When we look into space, we are looking directly at our own origin, we are children of the stars. Brian Cox understands that something unimaginable occurred before the Big Bang. It's hard for most people to comprehend the vastness of the conditions that led to everything we know today, the stars, the Milky Way, millions of other galaxies and ultimately ourselves. Join us on this cosmic journey Brian Cox, before the Big Bang, something terrible existed. The renowned astrophysicist tries to explain this extraordinary state of the universe before its formation in a way that's simple, offering insights into who we are, where we come from, what stars are, and why they exist. These questions have intrigued people since the dawn of thought. Here we are, standing on our tiny planet, which compared to the previously known size of the universe, is not even a speck of dust and we are trying to understand what it all means. We peer billions of light years into space with telescopes, but instead of finding answers we encounter more questions. It's as if the universe is evading our research or constantly providing answers we are simply unable to see. Brian Cox believes the cosmos remains a profound mystery in its entirety, but he is also convinced that the universe is fully explorable, and its secrets aren't all that hard to uncover, if we look closely. Was there really light at the beginning? A quote from Brian Cox, Light is our only connection to the universe. Have you ever wondered if the Bible and science share common ground? Both aim to explain how the world was created, what laws govern it, and who we are. According to the Bible, God created the world from nothing in seven days, and light quickly followed in the universe of the Christian God. However, science questions this account. According to the widely accepted cosmological model, there was no light in the universe for hundreds of thousands of years. For this reason, scientists long believed that we would never be able to see the beginning of the universe because we can only detect light. Our telescopes capture light that has traveled for billions of years and reconstruct it into images. But where there is no light, our telescopes can see nothing, making those regions impossible to explore. If the Big Bang occurred in darkness and the universe remained dark for eons afterward, we would never be able to see this period. Yet, the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed something different. This technological marvel looks back an astounding 13.6 billion years, nearly reaching the era of the Big Bang, which occurred around 13.8 billion years ago. Here's the first surprise, the Webb telescope shouldn't have been able to detect anything from this era, as it was supposed to be a dark age with no light and no matter for us to observe. Yet, Webb's images show rows of bright, beautiful galaxies, indicating that matter existed and was already well formed at that time. This discovery challenges the idea that the universe came from nothing and remained dark for a long period. Could light and matter have appeared earlier than we thought? And is the Bible, in some way, correct when it suggests that light was present very quickly or even from the beginning? To understand this, we must first examine what light truly is. Before the Big Bang, there was light. A quote from Richard Feynman, If quantum mechanics has not profoundly shocked you, you haven't understood it. Albert Einstein was the first to describe the nature of light, proposing that light consists of photons, which collide with electrons and generate visible light through electromagnetic waves. Light is thus a form of energy created by rotation, friction or collisions. These processes occur at subatomic levels, where particles fluctuate, they appear, disappear, and interact in ways we don't yet fully understand. These dynamics generate waves and radiation, sometimes forming light that exists beyond our ability to perceive it. Richard Feynman, one of the first quantum physicists to grasp the true scale of this science, recognized that quanta are the foundation of all matter, not grand phenomena like stars or planets. Everything is made of tiny, fluctuating particles. Quanta are strange and unsettling because they behave unpredictably. They only form solid states when observed, otherwise they remain as unformed potential. A quantum particle that forms a table under observation retains the potential to become a chair, a tiger, or even a drop of water. What does this tell us about the origin of the universe, and what came before it? It suggests that the universe is just one of countless possible realities that took on its current shape and form. But at the same time it contains the potential for many other things. Brian Cox believes that before the universe, there couldn't have been nothing. A quote from Brian Cox, The goal of particle physics is to explain what everything is made of and how it is connected, me, you, the earth, the sun, and billions of other suns. The magic of science is that it isn't as rational as we sometimes think. Physics, far from being a series of formulas, is an adventure into the unknown. 
Scientists, like Brian Cox, remind us that light is our only connection to the universe, but there's much more to it, and we don't fully understand light. Particle physics aims to uncover the secrets of the universe by splitting particles into smaller parts until they can no longer be divided. But the practice is more complicated. Every known particle can be broken down further. Imagine an atom as a city, and a quantum particle as an orange on a table in that city. Even smaller particles are like crumbs or dust in that city. We can't see atoms, nor can our best researchers see these smaller particles, but we know they exist because we observe their effects. No matter how deep researchers delve into these dimensions, they haven't found the essence of creation. We still don't know what matter is or how it forms. According to theory, matter formed after the Big Bang, beginning with loose particles that eventually cool and came together to form molecules and solid matter. But before the Big Bang, there was supposedly nothing. Yet, quantum physics has shown that nothing cannot truly exist. The information that forms particles remains, even if the particle itself is destroyed. So, there must have been something, at least the information that later formed the universe. Of course, this raises more questions. Where did this information come from? Quantum scientists explain it as a quantum fluctuation, meaning an infinite carpet of particles that neutralized each other and vanished again. Since nothing we know of emerged from this fluctuation, it occupied no space and no time passed. Yet, within this fluctuation lay the potential for not only our universe but countless others. This leads to the astonishing possibility that other versions of the universe could exist, each with its own rules and realities. Imagine a cosmos where everything is pink, where matter flows instead of solidifies, where only thoughts exist, or where time runs backward. These are just a few of countless potential universes. Why did our universe form, and why did humans come into existence? We don't yet know. These questions push us to the limits of our understanding, and perhaps we need to go beyond those limits to truly grasp the nature and diversity of our universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.